Okay, now since we have all our sites in, in the prefab, so if you uh, went ahead and created some some of your own uh, buildings or went on to the app store, got your uh, found some some better looking buildings and models for this game. Uh, basically, now uh, we're going to go ahead and create the track. So basically, go to create, create empty, uh, reset the transforms. Click up here and click reset. Call this track one. And then once you have track one, go ahead and just drag the tracks inside track one. Track two. Track from site one. Then site two. We're going to go ahead and position it and put them together. So, going over to the edge right here, hit the B key, hold down the left mouse button, snap it. It's easy just when you're putting these things together. Let's go over to, to here and just snap it in. So next, site three. Zoom in out by holding the left, uh, by the right mouse key and pressing the S button. Now uh, moving this over. Holding the uh, right mouse button pressing W so I can fly in, hold the V key and position it right by that stone tile, snap it in, then next site 4, move it over, Same. And then site five. Don't worry if too much if the models are getting smushed over when you when you build this. This is just a simple this is a simple tutorial on how to make a make a quick in, in this running game to uh, impress your friends, your friends and family. Like I said, if you want to learn more, you can click on the, the my Amazon affiliate link below and it will lead you to some pretty awesome books that can teach how to uh, how to build up uh, these levels uh, and also design better looking games if you're interested in um, uh, building up uh, uh, using unity all right so uh, so that is done uh, next. What we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it. So some um unclaps that select track one, press D and call this track two. And then basically uh, move this forward. Too much for and then same thing just just uh, snap it in by hovering over here on uh, that stone tile pressing Z key snap it right in place with the other one all right and then we got we got our track we got a track a uh, little mini city created so we go ahead and select the car car and let me let's drop the car to point five zero point five point five and move the car over in the middle here like so 
and uh, let's move the camera in. So a good way to move the, the camera in to a uh, view here. So select the camera, go to game object, and move to view. Maybe you didn't really want it that way. So so let's try to move to move the camera uh, up. Move the camera back. And so we can see the car. So a little bit forward so we can see see the car. Alright, and then uh, what you're going to do is now just bring the camera into the car, like so. Alright, and then, uh, then the next thing, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the obstacles. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, download the free barrel model pack made by Black Horizon Studios. If you click on the description, um, if you click on the link in the description below, my feed link in the description below, it'll take you right to it. Or you can just click on, just go to Asset Store and and um, and just type in free barrel model pack. Click on Open in Unity. What it's going to do is going to open in the uh, uh, Unity uh, Asset Store. In, uh, in the Uni Engine, it, if it will say download, just click on download, but click on it. I already have it downloaded, so all I have to do is uh, click on import and then import all. I am uh, importing. You probably don't even have to have to import all because we're just going to use just just the two to three barrels. Okay, now once that is done, if for some reason uh, uh, this does not open up, uh, what you can do is uh, either uh, file, save, close down the uh, close down uh, Unity, open it back up again, click on the link uh, in the description, click on open, um, either open um, uh, open a Unity, or better yet, uh, you can just type it in there, or uh, type in free bottle free Barrel model pack. I'm just gonna copy and paste to see what pulls up. Yeah, see there you go. You can just type type it in there hey, if you want to, to do it that way. It's, it's easier uh, in the asset store. Okay, so once once that is done, uh, we have it downloaded. Go to free metals. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're going to create a empty object. So go to create, create empty, and we're gonna call this obstacle. One. Then from obstacle one, zero out the transforms by clicking reset. Let me open up that my scene, scene again, and and just in case I'm gonna I'm gonna close this. The reason why this says no cameras rendered is because we have remember we have the camera on the car. So, but don't worry about it um, for right now. So I'm just going to select a barrel. You can select any barrel you want there. Uh, any color doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm going to drag it into, this, into the hierarchy. Drag it under uh, obstacle one. Reset the transform. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just bring it up here. And I'm going to rotate it. So I not rotate it on the Y. I'm gonna rotate it on the X 90 degrees. So it'll be so it will be up. Then move it up. Move the barrel up. Let me zoom in. I'm using the using the uh, middle mouse button to zoom in and holding down the the uh, right mouse button so I can pan over by moving it and uh, probably make this make this two two 
to move it up. Let's see. Trying to back the car. I'll make it three. Let me reset it. Press Control Z so so it go go back. Uh, and uh, let's see here, moving. Turn them back to probably select the barrel and make it three on the X. Three, three, three. Let me turn off the car so I can see it. All right. Like the barrel, move it up like so, and with that barrel selected, probably turn on the car, see how it looks like. Yeah, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm gonna put that, yeah, that's it's not bad at all. Try the things look like. And what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do the same. Now for the barrels, what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to select the model prefab for the barrels. Control A, and I'd like you to remove the rigid body. I click remove component, and that removes the rigid body for, for all of them. And so the rigid body can move from, from here. So what will happen, it'll start dropping down. All right, then Control D. Call this model two, and then actually a no, note. Actually, here's a quicker way that we can do. Go over here, select the model uh, barrel blue. Select here, click copy component. Selecting the model prefab for underneath the free model. Control A. And then select here, click paste component values. And now all the ones will have the same values as this, make it easier. So delete this. We're going to select a different one, doesn't matter. Select any color and drag it on like so. You can see as it, it's, it's the same. So drag obstacle one into. Your prefab folder, then ops, then delete this. Control D, and then make it three. We're just going to use three obstacles. Enter. Delete the green one. Let the model prefabs. I'll use this one. Drag it into the scene. Underneath, drag underneath the obstacle three. And since we have obstacle two, put it in prefabs. And same thing with obstacle three, prefabs. Prefabs. All right. And then you can go ahead and delete these. All right. Now we have now we have in the scene. All right. Next, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to to go ahead and and. Uh, Script this track, but let's see. Let's play it. See how it looks so far. So I'm gonna press play. You see, see we are moving, just moseying around in the town. You know, in our GTR, whatever car you uh you uh, choose, and. And pretty soon we're going to add the obstacles and also uh, speed it up. You want to speed it up a little bit more? Just go to the car, and then just like 15. Now we're out of road, <laughs> but 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 no worries. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna script it, uh, and everything will 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 come together. All right. So next, let's go ahead and script it.